Welcome, this is the NAK Vibration Reading for the Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. I want to say thank you for being back and welcome to your new Zodiac Year 2019. From the 21st until the 23rd, because the sweet begins from the 17th until the 23rd, um, your birthday energies start, you Cancers. Happy birthday. Okay, so the... Um, the full moon reading is up, so go check out your full moon reading for June and July. Go check out your full moon readings for June and July. Let's see what is coming out for you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. You are dealing with some burdens, and there is just really some really um, issues and situations. But you're moving out of this issue. I'm seeing new love is coming in especially for um, you men and women. Okay, Cancers, bam, 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 it's your birthday. It's your birthday, it's your birthday. Oh my God, you Cancers. There's a lot of love in the week for you Cancers, but there's definitely transformation coming in because it's your zodiac birthday. I'm seeing money coming to you Cancers. Um, this is wonderful, you were dealing with a low energy person or situation. This is coming to an end. I'm seeing new love coming in your life. Okay, there is uh, um, definitely a new start and this new start is going to bring you a lot of success, but not only success, it's gonna bring you love, okay? The 10 of Wands is here and some of you are going to be ending your burdens, whatever this burdens is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you both are out. So happy birthday to you, Cancers, because you're both out. Men 45 years and older, this is going to be a week for you. Some of you are going to have a new start. So men 45 years, with men and women 45 years and older, there's definitely a new start. Let's see what's coming out. What is the burden? Oh, your burden is going to be over, you Cancers. Bam, bam, bam. I love you, Cancers. You're seeing the truth of the situation. And your burdens is going to be over. You are protecting yourself. You're standing guard, protecting yourself to whatever that is coming out. But guess what? Your burdens are going to be over. Thank God for you, Cancers. It is coming up to be your birthday. So, hey, you Cancers. Pray with your guiding angels, Cancers. You know, um, call upon your guiding angels as you begin this new zodiac here. Ask for a year birthday reading. It is not that much. It's just a gift for yourself to find out what is coming up and how to look for it. The energy of this lower energy that is here, whatever this lower energy, these are people that is in situation and it has to do with the night, the night of, it's an Aquarius, Gemini or Libra between the ages of 18 and 45. Um, now, this person could be helping you in some capacity, um, but um, whatever the issue is, this could be like lawyer, a lawyer, that sort of a thing is coming up and helping you um not knowingly so a lawyer could be helping you out uh, in this week but some of you are um, was dealing with an issue and i'm seeing you um really stand back and you're going after the energy of the fool is here so some of you are walking away from um a Taurusburg or a Capricorn you could be um, starting um, with him too some of you could be walking away but some of you could be starting a new relationship with this person um, oh god it is an uh, Aquarian Gemini or Libran Aquarian Gemini or Libran okay so some of you have been in involved in some issues or situation and I'm seeing an um, like they're investigating a situation some of you could have been connected to an organization that was a very bad organization you weren't even aware of what was transpiring you were talking to people doing things for people and now the eye princess is revealing um this to you so um i think um some of you are 
I'm definitely um, going to be walking away from an Aquarius Gemini or Libra man between the ages of 18 and um, between the ages of 45 and older because there's an issue there was a situation it could be at work but it could be with your business but there is going to be some judgment because this man has done something and they're going to be releasing whatever he has done money is definitely coming out um, two energies money and the star bam 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 double whammy the stars so you can sirs oh my god I'm loving your oof so you can sirs the star okay so what this is saying is that the energy of the star is a yes yes to go with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn some of you cancers are going to be meeting a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and it is yes that is a person for you yes go with that person I'm seeing the energy of the star some of you are going to be receiving some money um definitely receiving some money and um whatever is transpiring with the energy of the star um this is going to be good you're going to be very successful it could be successful in your business or successful in a business you could be receiving the medal of star because this is the medal of star so some of you could be receiving the medal of star or your partner if your partner is a taurus virgo or capricorn she could be um receiving the medal of star let's look at you men what's coming up for the men bam 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 you're seeing things clearly you are seeing things clearly about an organization okay so you men are seeing things clearly about an organization and this is really good because now you i could be your boss you're seeing things clearly about your boss whatever is transpiring you're now you're definitely seeing things clearly what was happening and what was transpiring let's look at the ladies for the five years and older what's coming up for the week for you ladies okay you you have left a situation behind um, you no longer want to vibrate yep yep you made the decision and you are now on your way leaving a situation behind and what is yes 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 so um, you ladies have decided to hand a situation in your life whatever the situation is whether it's a relationship whether um, it's work whatever you already decided it's as if you decided you made a decision you're moving on and you have that new start that is going to be coming up so it's um, it's as if you know this new start is going to be coming up some of you want this new start but it is not yet there but you're going to be receiving this new start it's as if some of you left the job and trying to start for your own so this new start hasn't come up yet but it's coming the ace of cups why <laughs> And this is how my guides and angel work the ace of the ace of cups what is happening with the energy of the ace of cups um, a conflict is over between you and um, a, um, a, um, a younger um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn this conflict is over and uh, um, you are successful okay so there was an issue that you guys were dealing with with um, a younger person it could be your child but it could be that you're in relationship with an um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn there was some conflicts it was this new love it was someone who came into your life this new love it could have been a child that returned in your life but whoever this person is is coming up in a love relationship and um, what I transpire is that you have definitely um, decide you 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 know whatever he was doing or whatever he was trying to do you have successfully released this person and successfully walk away from this person because you realize that this person has his own little games that he was playing so you successfully and end it and walk away from it okay this person could be a child or it could be someone else who is between the ages of 18 and 45 so there's an ending that is coming to all your hardship whatever you were going through this hardship is now ending some of you could have been going through hardship with relationship this hardship is definitely going to be coming 
it's coming to an end there's a transition there's an end um, to whatever the hardship was and you have communicate and say hey this is how I look at things this is what I want you have a strong foundation whatever that was transpiring especially you ladies who decided to leave a relationship because the crowning um, could be that some of you were in a relationship with an um, Aquarian Gemini or Libra and I'm seeing the Aquarian Gemini's and Libra's are coming up but what I'm seeing also is that your wishes and dreams is coming true um, some of you could have wanted to leave these water sign these air sign people Aquarian Gemini or Libra for a very long time and the divorce is now finally because some of you are going to be receiving some money whatever fights and battle there was you're seeing the truth and you have decided it's time to move on and this is really really wonderful what I'm seeing is that some of you are seeing the truth of the situation you stand your guard you're standing your ground and this week is a really powerful week for you cancers because it is your birthday week and you have the energy of the stars so yes 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 go ahead and do whatever another yes card is the nine of cups some of you your burdens are definitely going to be coming to an end now okay whoever that was placed in birth or whatever the conspiracy was the conspiracy is now um, release okay so someone was plotting and conspiring against you and this is now released because it has to do with this water sign this air sign person Aquarius Gemini or Libra so we have this big and uh, this older air sign person and we have uh, this young air sign person whatever they were conspiring it's not working out because whatever they conspire they are going to be falling in that net it's as if they have been weaving um um what you call it a spider web and they themselves have gotten caught up in the spider web okay um you men there there was some issues with either your boss or the company you were working for you need to find balance don't just rush don't make any rush decision at this moment just let it stay let it go um, you need to, um, to find balance um, to reconnect in whatever that was there going on definitely whoever was in um, in a love affair with a younger person or a love affair with a young a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn between the ages of 18 and 45 you have won you have successfully in this relationship and you're walking away from it whatever it was whatever that was there you have successfully ended and you're walking away from it and you know it this is how you want it to be and this is what is transpiring and you're happy just walking away from whatever the issue I'm seeing a lot of communication um, between partners there is a lot of communication between partners is as if you're communicating and you're letting people know how you feel this is going to bring back a real strong foundation in your relationship A real strong foundation in your relationship let's see what other messages is coming out we have two energies so you can choose card one or card two and let's see what is happening we have throat chakra so a lot of you need to work on your throat chakra okay you need to speak the truth and encourage others to do the same okay so whatever is happening you guys need to speak the truth and, and encourage others to do the same um, some of you have speak up uh, spoken up about a, a situation and um, you are the one who spoke up here it is you need to speak your truth here it is you need to speak your truth some of you have spoke up about a situation and now you're finally getting out of the situation because whatever that there was there was um, and your the next energy is release so I release that which does not serve my highest purpose and I am great um, grateful and loving late moving forward and it's about speaking the truth and releasing for you cancers in this week it's about speaking up the ace of swords is in the middle the center so a lot of you need to speak up uh, say what is bothering you say um, what is affecting you um, because a lot of people are going through issues that is affecting them in a relationship and they don't want to speak up about this and this doesn't 
um, bring an empty charge to this relationship because you're not letting the other person know what is happening so I'm wishing you a wonderful week namaste until next time